Hello? Well, you're right on time. What? I am so sorry, sir. I thought you were... Hi, welcome to Clark Pharmacy. How can I help you? No, go on. You thought I was who? No one. So you do recognize me. Ren Mowers. From the intersection of Clark and Henry Street, Brooklyn, New York. January 12th, 5.33 p.m. I'm sorry. Should I call someone? 1966 Canary Yellow Porsche 911. Custom plate. Cool red. So you do know me. Can I help you? Yes, that would be fine. <clears throat> Your name? Bridget Ann Webb. 12 3rd place. Apartment 3B. Brooklyn, New York. Ford Ranch Wagon. License plate TCB 3679. Registration. What do you want? You crashed into my car and then sped away 30 miles over the speed limit. You have someone else. I followed you here. It's your sad little job at my pharmacy. And... Wait. It's you. You're the lady who always messes up my prescription. So you're the angry man always yelling on the phone. No wonder you're on morphine. Shh. Now you've gone too far. You crashed my first canary. I'm sorry. My foot slipped. Oh, your I... foot slipped, did it? What were you wearing? Flip flops? Swim fins? Slippers? Look, just give me your insurance. You think I can afford insurance? If I could pay for that, I'd be halfway through medical school at least. You don't have insurance. <sighs> Great. What's wrong with the car anyway? There's a scratch. I have those all over the place on my car. They're a sign of love. My ex-fiance Christy scratched my canary with her engagement ring, so I broke off the whole relationship. What? That's horrible. I know. That must be when you started taking morphine. At least she had insurance. I had to repaint the whole car. Now I'm gonna have to get a whole new coat. You know how hard it is to get canary yellow paint? You're ridiculous. You're careless. You're just like... Christy. Look, you gotta have something. A check, a wire. I have nothing. I'm sorry. If you don't give me my money today, then I'm suing you. Fine. Fine. Okay, um. I am waiting on someone who is going to bring me my money. My co workers see me. We have this deal going on. A deal? Of drugs. No! been embezzling baby formula. Baby formula? Are you serious? Are you... <clears throat> are you with child? Are you calling me fat? No. No. You're right, it isn't baby formula. It's... It's... Valium. Oh. No. Well... It's bad. I started dealing drugs from here to pay for medical school, and then my coworker Stevie found out, and he threatened to report me unless I let him in on it. I didn't want to do that, but he is really, really controlling. Yeah, I, maybe I can just take your paycheck instead. But Stevie is mad that I ratted him out and he got fired. He's gonna come back in here and get me. I know he will. Okay, look, you're scared of a guy named Stevie? I mean, come on, that's not even a real name. I can take them. Get out, Bridget. Stevie, please. Oh no, you didn't just take my job, did you? You had to go and take my clients, my value, and now I got nothing. And neither will you. No! What? Who's this guy? <laughs> what are you, you double dealing? I owe him some money. What are you gonna do? The herder? Just, just think about what you're doing. Empty your pockets right now. Have fun walking, buddy. Why did you do that? Can't drive around a car with a scratch on it. Who would do that? It's ruined. Uh, I transferred the car over to Mo. How much did you get for it? 
Ten grand. It would have been fifteen if you hadn't scratched the side door. Whatever. <laughs> what? Man, I just wish I could have kept that canary nine eleven. Thank you.